the government is set to grant a newly established unit, the Community Relations Unit, the authority to investigate and intervene in cases of noise disturbances between neighbours as part of proposed amendments to the Community Disputes Resolution Act. The new laws, expected to be introduced in Parliament later in 2024, aim to address severe neighbourly disputes more effectively. On 12 August, authorities outlined the specific powers that the CRU will possess under the Community Disputes Resolution Amendment Bill. These powers include the ability to issue warnings or abatement orders, require neighbours to undergo mediation, and install noise sensors in homes to monitor noise levels. However, these sensors can only be installed with the consent of the residents in the affected units. The Ministry of Culture, Community and Youth, the Ministry of Law and the Ministry of National Development issued a joint statement clarifying that the CRU will only intervene after residents have unsuccessfully attempted to resolve their disputes on their own. The ministries also highlighted the benefits of noise sensors, which can be installed in common areas such as corridors. Unlike sound recordings that can be distorted during playback, these sensors provide reliable data on the direction, timing, and intensity of noise, thereby helping to probe or dismiss complaints. However, the installation of these sensors will remain optional, and they will not be deployed without the complainant's consent. To protect privacy, the data collected by the sensors will be transmitted in real time to secure Singapore-based servers with strict access controls ensuring that raw recordings are not stored. In addition to introducing the CRU, the proposed amendments will bring two significant changes to the Community Dispute Management Framework. The first change aims to promote the early resolution of disputes through community mediation. The second change will enhance the powers of the Community Disputes Resolution Tribunals to address cases more swiftly and effectively. The CDRT which serves as a last resort for severe disputes that cannot be resolved through mediation, or the CRU, will be empowered to issue interim orders for immediate relief and mandatory treatment orders for individuals whose disturbances are linked to mental health conditions. Emphasizing the objective of the bill, the ministries stated, these enhancements will strengthen, not replace, the community's ability to come together early and resolve their differences as good neighbors. The CRU, announced in 2023, will be piloted for a year starting in Tampanez, a town with an average caseload, to ensure representative findings. After the pilot, authorities will decide on expanding the CRU island-wide. Staffed by officers with law enforcement and mediation experience, the CRU will be supported by auxiliary police. Both must identify themselves while on duty with identities verifiable through an MND webpage. These offices can take statements from involved parties and enter residences to gather evidence with the owner's consent or approval from the Director General of Community Relations. CRU offices can require mediation and issue advisories, warnings or abatement orders to stop noise disturbances. Non-compliance with mediation directions could result in a fine of up to 1,500 Singapore dollars. Violating abatement orders could lead to fines of up to 10,000 Singapore dollars for a first offence and up to 20,000 Singapore dollars, three months imprisonment, or both for repeat offences. Offices may also require the removal of objects causing a nuisance, with authorization. The Housing Board may consider compulsory acquisition of flats as a last resort for severe, persistent nuisances, similar to measures for cases of killer litter under the Penal Code. The bill also allows the CRU to address severe in-unit hoarding by applying for a Community Disputes Resolution Tribunal order to declutter a unit if it has caused unreasonable interference to neighbours and the hoarder has not complied with a previous order. In a 2023 public consultation, over 300 responses showed strong support for government intervention in severe neighbour disputes, particularly those involving noise. Respondents emphasized that these powers should be used appropriately. Mediation remains a priority, with 80% of cases at the Community Mediation Center successfully resolved. With 80% of cases at the Community Mediation Center successfully resolved. However, less than 30% of cases proceed to mediation due to unwillingness from one party.
The bill empowers agencies like the CRU to direct parties to mediation and allows settlements to be registered as CDRT orders, ensuring quicker legal recourse if breached. Neighbors should attempt mediation before filing a CDRT claim, as court outcomes often lead to a winner and loser, which may not be ideal for ongoing neighborly relations. Public consultations acknowledge that while CDRT proceedings could strain relationships, they may be necessary for serious cases. Enhancements include encouraging landlords to act when tenants cause nuisances and allowing the CDRT to award costs for pursuing claims, with additional costs potentially imposed on those refusing mediation.